Hi, I thought I'd do a quick check-in to see how my reading has been going so far this year. It's August 17th that you record this here in Antigua. Um, the reading hasn't been going well. It hasn't been going well at all in terms of just how many books I've read and so on. But I will run through quickly what books I've managed to finish. A very measly number. So, I didn't finish anything in January. In February, I finished a short, a book, a short, a short story length book called Emojis and Nancy by Crystal Clashing, which is part of a series. Um, Victoire, My Mother's Mother by Marisa Conde, translated by Richard Philcox. Um, both of those, reviews of both of those are available on Joe Hadley dot wordpress.com I like both quite a lot both of those are finished in February and then we had another drought to be quite clear I was working on other things um, including um, trying to make progress on my own books and revisions to an older book of mine um, so it wasn't until April that I finished anything again and that was the thesis by Margaret Tweedy um, I've also written about that on the blog it's a uh, history of Barbuda under the Codringtons 1738 to 1833 and I really appreciated this one for giving me insight to Barbuda in that time Barbuda is very topical right now there's an older review on my blog um, Dreamland Barbuda about some of the current issues with Barbuda in terms of land rights and so on and we've had recent developments since that and I feel like books like Tweedy's or theses, research projects like Tweedy's give some insight into why Barbudans feel so strongly about their land rights. Um, that it's not always about what it says on paper, but tradition and practice over generations. And, um, you know, that this particular, one of the fascinating things for me reading this was just about how different enslavement was in Barbuda compared to the plant plantation economies like in Antigua where, you know, um, you had a sort of routine of um, sugarcane production. They didn't have sugarcane production over there and they had a different sort of um, lifestyle, skills development. Some may call it even more freedom, quote unquote, um, because what is freedom in enslavement? But they were able to maintain family lines and family traditions across generations. Um, it was just an interesting read. Um, I DNF'd quite a bit this year, which is kind of a new thing for me. Usually I finish what I start when it comes to books, but the spirit just wasn't there. Spirit hasn't been there. But um, I tried to comment on the books that I DNF'd to make clear that a lot of times it has nothing to do with the book itself, but just, you know, my heart isn't in it. Um, the next thing I finished was Harriet's Daughter because I was determined to finish um, something for Read Caribbean Month, which is in June. So I finished Harriet's Daughter by Marlene Norris Phillip, um, who is a Caribbean Canadian writer. And it's a, a, a novel um, point of view of a young um, Caribbean Canadian girl um, and deals with Underground Railroad, but also just deals with the usual coming of age issues. Um, and maternal issues and all of that. It's really um, a good read. And then the next book I finished was What a Mother's Love Don't Teach You by Sharma Taylor, who is a, a Jamaican writer based in Barbados. And that book is um, a compelling read. It actually traverses, I would say, similar ground to a book like A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. But the tone and the character perspectives are so different it's almost two different worlds but it's the violence of inner city Jamaica and it's the family and it's the the um, just all the history and, and all of the dreaming and all of the possibilities it's a really interesting read um, heavily populated different types of characters different types of points of view um, well worth the read it's her first novel what a mother's love don't teach you by Sharma Taylor and then the last thing I finished was Selected Poems by Lorna Goodison. Lorna Goodison is one of our 
former former Jamaican poet laureate, but I was going to say she's one of our poet laureates because she's one of the greats from the Caribbean, contemporary, still working, still writing. Um, just an extremely um, insightful and talented writer. And um, I also have a review of that. Well, not a review so much as just my reflections of that on the blog. And what I'm currently reading is The Mermaid of Black Conk by Money Crawford, a Trinidad um, writer, British based. I am still reading this. I'm having complicated feelings about it, but I also enjoy it. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Um, but it's a thinking book in the sense that it's, it's like you, you're grappling with the history, you're grappling with the complicatedness of race and gender and all those types of politics. Um, so that's where I am.